Hello, 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 and welcome to another tutorial. Today, this one's a pretty simple one. We're going to make a little Twitter bot. Um, so here is what I made earlier. Uh, this is called Tickerbot, and what it does is it basically just posts tweets about the stock market. So here is an example where it's got some of the biggest stock fallers from the Nasdaq. Um, another example is here where it's run a Monte Carlo simulation and it's you know posted the image and it's posted some summaries about this stock which is called ip group um we're not actually going to go through making all the you know doing all the stock data -y stuff because that takes a lot more time so in this first video i'm just going to go over how we're actually going to sort of interface python with twitter it's really simple so the very first thing we're going to need to do is install install um, Twitter for Python so pip install Python dash Twitter it's gonna say oh, we've already installed it which it has for me for you it won't say that um, and the next thing we're gonna need to do um, is we're gonna create two files one of them is called we'll call it bot.py and the other one we will call config.py Okay, so we created those. Um, we're going to start off with a config file because it's the simplest. So first, let's import Twitter, and we'll make the text a bit bigger. And in this one, all we're going to have is one method. We're going to call it uh, get API. You can call it whatever you like; it doesn't really matter, as long as you know what's going off. And we're going to return um, some credentials, but. I'm getting ahead of myself because we haven't got the credentials yet. So you're going to want to go to a page um, which will be in the doobly-doo. Uh, it's developer.twitter.com forward slash apps. You should have already created a Twitter account and um, had it all verified as a developer, which is pretty simple. Just go to the developers page. It will show you what you need to do. We're going to create an app. So here I already have an app created. Um, the details of which are here, la la la, and what we then do is we need to get um, some of the keys and tokens. So I've already got my keys and tokens, so your keys and tokens were here, and we're just going to put these into this config file. So for the time being, all I'm going to show you is exactly what you need to do to actually get this to work, and you just replace your thing with your your actual keys god damn i am not very coherent today so we need to put in um the consumer key so here uh we need to put in uh the consumer secret again where i'm putting here you're just going to put your key there we go so here and then we're going to also put in here the access token key, if I remember correctly. I mean, the order of these I don't think matters, but just keep it in the same order. Here, and then we also want to add in the final thing, which is the access token secret. There we go. And put here for that. And that is all you need to do for the config file. Obviously having your actual data. Okay. So now let's move on to the actual main bot file. Um, now the way I have set mine up because the way the way this, this Twitter bot works is I have a server and the server has a cron job, which we're going to go over. Basically a cron job is just um, a way of scheduling a task. So you say at five o'clock, run this script okay and you need to have a server to do that because you have a computer that's on at five o'clock you need to guarantee it's on at five o'clock so i'll go through that at the end of the video how you can do that but the way i've set this up is that we're gonna do the bot file it can be used by other files so that you could pass in the data and run different cron jobs that might not make a great deal of sense at the moment so um what do we need to do for the bot file First thing we need to do is I'm going to put the thing I never put on the top of the files is the shebang. So we're then going to import our method we just created in the config file. 
Then we are going to import um, the operating system. The reason we're going to do that is because we're going to post some images to Twitter. So I'm going to give you some examples of what we need to do. Let's first just say get API. There we are. And then we're going to start off by we'll, cr we'll create. Um, what should we create first? We'll just start off by creating the status, right? So we'll say, uh, we'll pass it in you know, the status. And all we're going to do is we're going to say status is equal to API post update and then pass in the status. I'm just going to print it just to confirm that everything went well. I have done something silly. I've, I've renamed the same thing. So we'll actually we'll call this like update. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Um, and this is really simple. So all we're going to do here is let's just quickly say post status and we're going to say, hi, I'm a Twitter bot. Oh my God, I can't even type. Hi, I'm a Twitter bot, right. So what we're expecting is when we run this file, python bot.py, we're going to run it. Oh, look at that. It's given us some interesting data. Um, it looks like it succeeded. So let's refresh the page over here. Wowzers trousers. There we are. It's, it's actually said, hi, I'm a Twitter bot. And also you'll notice in the meantime, while I've been creating this video, we've actually had some new tweets been posted. Um, that's to do with that cron job because it's around five o'clock where I am right now, which is the time the stock market closes. So it runs a load of scripts to get all the data and post them to Twitter. A bit of fun. Okay, so let's go back to Atom, text editor of choice. And we know that that works now. So we're going to get rid of this little tweet. We don't need that. Okay, so let's now create the post with image method. So I'm going to say post with image. The way I have it set up, if I remember correctly, to post these images is a script creates these images and always names it the exact same thing because the script runs and creates one of these images. So let's say it calls it, I don't know, temp.png, right? What it does is it always just finds the temp.png file, posts it, and then deletes it. So it gets posted to Twitter. Once it's posted to Twitter, then the file gets deleted off the, the actual local machine. Um, so let's do something like that. You can change how this is configured. We'll do it with one method. We'll just say, again, we're going to have uh, an update and we're going to pass in the media. Actually, let's not pass in the media. We'll just hard code it. We'll, we'll be, you know, we'll be rebels here. We'll break things. What we're going to do is we're going to say, um, we'll do it pretty much the same way as last time, except we're going to, I'm going to print it in one go. So we're going to post update. And this time, all we're going to do is we're going to say update media, and then we're going to say equal to. And I think I have a file. Yeah, I do. I have one saved as bot.jpg. And then what we're going to do, and this is why we have OS. We're going to get rid of. Let's just do this. Image bot.jpg. And we'll just say image. And we'll remove image. Okay, so what's going to happen when I run this is we are going to see that the file gets posted to Twitter. And then the file gets deleted from the local machine. Okay, so we're going to post with image and save that. So let's go back to the Twitter page and see what happens when I run this file. There we go. It's posted, so refresh it. Shebang. There we are. We have a photo of the Twitter bot. That's been posted to Twitter. And if we look on at the files, you'll notice here that the bot.jpg file has now been deleted. If we look up here, it was over here and now it's gone that is all you need to know if you just want to create a really simple twitter bot if you have any questions let me know in the comments i'll try and answer them as quick as possible thank you very much for watching